Hello, my third graders. Welcome to your first Ready Math Online lesson with Miss Lydia. So we are starting a unit on geometry. So I know that we know we've gone over this, but just to remind you, geometry is comes from the Greek word geo, meaning earth, and meter, meaning measure. So it means the study of measuring the earth. So what you're going to be going through in your lesson is how the one of the first questions that I ask you is how can the sides and the angles help you name shapes? So for example, this shape is called a, a triangle. Sorry, I know that's so corny and you guys are going to make fun of me, but I want to give you a chance so this feels like an interactive lesson so you can answer along with me. So a triangle has one, two, three. These are the angles and one, two, three sides. So that's a triangle. So there's other ways to describe the sides of shapes. So some shapes have sides with all different lengths. So like the shape that they have dropped in your book is four centimeters, one centimeter, two centimeters, three centimeters. Sorry, right. four centimeters, one centimeters. And you know, I'm not measuring this, so this is just strictly for teaching pur purposes. Centimeters and three centimeters. So this shape, um, we could measure the sides of the shape with a ruler and we could figure out what it was, but sometimes we have shapes that can just be different sizes. Some shapes have two or more sides that are the same length. Like for example, this triangle has two sides that are the same length and then one side that is a little bit smaller. Some sides can all have the same length. An example of this, would be, uh, who can recognize what that shape is? Let's see what we know about it. It's got one, two, three, four, five sides, and one, two, three, four, five angles. So this makes it a, a pentagon. Because penta means five, and gone means corners. So this is a pentagon because of those four corners. Shapes can also have sides that have opposite lengths that are the same. So like I'm gonna put two lines here because these sides are the same and one line here because this line is the same and one line here because that's the same. And what is this shape called? It's called a a rectangle. So shapes can have opposite sides that are the same length. So for example, these, if we were to label the sides and this was A, B, C, D, A would be the same as C and B could be the same as D. So there's other ways where we can describe the angles of shapes. So this was all, ah, there it is. This was all talking about the sides of shapes and how we can measure them that way and we can classify them that way by the shapes. So now we're gonna talk about the angles of the shapes. So if we have a rectangle, it can have all square corners. Oh, that's not a good square. So when you have square corners, that basically just means that you have a 90 degree angle, which means that it makes an L. So this is a square corner. 
This would be bigger than a square corner, so that would be an obtuse angle, and this would be an acute angle, which is not a square corner. So we can classify them by having all square corners. I'll put a rectangle in here. We can also have some square corners. So like this triangle, has one square corner, and then it has two acute corners. So acute, I like to think of it as thinking of like, oh, that's so cute, because acute is smaller than 90 degrees, which is a square corner. And then we can also, hmm, none of the examples in your book have this, but the other kind of angle that you can have is an obtuse angle, which means bigger than 90 degrees, which again, is a square corner. So then it talks about how we have all these different shapes that we can make. So like a pentagon, they have the pentagon like this. So pent means five. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we do have an obtuse here. So this is an obtuse angle, which means that it's like this rather than the L. So it's like this rather than the L. And then we also have two square corners. And then right here, we have an acute, an acute angle, a cute, cute little angle. So what we're learning in this lesson is that we can describe angle or we can describe shapes by their lines or by their angles. So, the next part of the lesson goes through what are the shapes have one square corner. So we just have to remember the term square corner. Which is basically an L. So that's what a square corner is. So like a square has all L's. They're all square corners. Um, and then one of the shapes that we didn't get into that has all, um, it can have, it has two acute and two obtuse angles is a rhombus. So the rhombus has that's an obtuse, which is big, and then an acute, which is small, so that's a rhombus. And a rhombus is basically like taking a square and just squishing it together. So then it just goes on to talk about um, what, what doesn't belong in the groups, which you guys can figure that out, what has four sides, what has four angles, what has the straight angles, what has the corner angles, what has all the different kinds of angles. And then um, we can ask, it asks about what are different triangles, what are some of the squares that are the same length. And basically it's just looking at what are the different types of shapes and what are the things that you notice about their angles. So the biggest thing to think about here is, do they have a square corner? Or angle? Do they have an acute? Do they have an obtuse? Then we wanna know about
Then we want to know about the sides. Are they the same? Or are there shorter ones? Or longer ones? So it's just thinking, this lesson is basically just talking about different ways to think about shapes. So you guys have been dealing with shapes, you know, you know how they work. Um, and this, this lesson is just going to have you look a little bit more at them. If you get confused about anything, you can always, always, and not just about math, just about everything. If you get confused about anything, you can always ask me. Um, you can send me a message. Uh, I know that a lot of you have been doing private messages on Google Classroom, so you can always send me a private message on Google Classroom. You can have your guardian or whoever is taking care of you. You can have them call me. I'm around. My office hours are from 9 to 11, which means that I'll definitely be at my computer then answering questions, but I'm here all day for you, so any questions that you might have, I know... We're kind of jumping into this geometry lesson, but we're moving on to geometry because we're we're ready for it. And just everything else that we've been doing with the lessons, y'all have been doing so well with that I think we're ready. And I want to make sure that we do get to geometry this year. So I hope you all are well. Ask me if you have any questions. I hope that this lesson helped you out. Thanks. Have a good day.